Urinary catheterization is a procedure that is widely performed by healthcare workers. Currently, around one in four hospital inpatients, both male and female, will require urinary catheterization. This DVD will explain the anatomy of the urinary tract in relation to the procedure of transurethral bladder catheterization. This is a transurethral Foley's catheter. The tip of the catheter, which is inserted into the urethra and ultimately the bladder, has two openings which will drain the contents of the bladder through the central lumen of the catheter into a collection bag once attached. Remove the catheter pack from its wrapping. The catheter pack should be opened carefully, only touching the outside cover of the pack. Avoid touching the inside sterile part of the packaging. You may wish to create this sterile field either between the patient's legs or on a nearby mobile trolley. If no urine is draining, do not inflate the balloon. It may be that the catheter is in the urethra, in which case inflating the balloon will be very uncomfortable for the patient or cause urethral injury or a false passage, which may lead to bleeding, sepsis and possibly even death. The main difference of female catheterization over male catheterization is the functional anatomy of the genitourinary tract. The urethral meatus of the female is located anterior to the vaginal opening and may often be difficult to locate. Patient positioning is different from male. The female patient should be in the supine position with hips and knees flexed and feet resting approximately half a metre apart.